Today was such a nice day until the Fire Nation attacked. Now me and Pip need to build airplanes to protect Mikey and JJ's family before their army reaches us in 20 minutes. Louie, this is terrible. When the sun goes down in 20 minutes, the army of monsters is going to be here. You're right, Pip. This really is terrible. If the monsters get here and we have nothing to escape in, Mikey and JJ's family are going to die. Louie, what if we make some airplanes? Because the higher we are up in the sky, the harder it is for the monsters to reach us. Wait, that's actually a genius idea, Pip. Why didn't I think of that? But let's go and build some airplanes. We need to keep Mikey and JJ's family safe. I'm going to build my airplane for JJ. My airplane is going to be for Mikey's family, and it's going to be insane. I really don't believe that, Pip. I'm going to get started with my airplane, and I'm going to build it a lot faster because I'll be using the Wand of Symmetry, which allows me to build very fast on two sides at once. So I'm going to start building my airplane like this. And I definitely want it to be huge. It has to have a ton of space. And also really big wings. Oh, Louie, you don't know this, but I've been practicing with the Wand of Cinnamon. And I am prepared to use it. Wait, Pip, the Wand of Cinnamon? It's not called the Wand of Cinnamon. It's the Wand of Symmetry. What have I been practicing with? I'm not sure what you've been practicing with, Pip. But all I know is that you have to hurry. Because when those monsters get here, we need to have something to escape. If we don't have any working airplanes, we are done for. I'm building as fast as I can, Louie. Luckily, this wand of cinnamon is helping me out a ton. Yep, the wand of symmetry is really, really good. Just look at this. I've already started on the main tube that everything in my airplane is going to be in, including the seats and the windows. Yeah, Louie, and I may or may not be copying you. Wait. <laughs> Pip, you copied me, but with dirt. That's just my build, but worse. Ow, it's your build, but way better. Wait a second. Why did you make the top of it so spiky? It looks like a shark fin. Isn't this how an airplane looks like? No, Pip. An airplane is completely round like this. Just like my build. But it has wings and a little fin at the end. I can't build a circle in Minecraft, Louie. Did you forget that? I know you can't build circles in Minecraft, Pip. After all, it doesn't matter if a plane isn't circular as long as it has wings and a jet engine inside. Oh, yeah, Louie. My plane's wings are going to be amazing. It's going to be like a unicorn. Yeah, we will see about that, Pip. Anyways, I need to keep building as fast as I can. And after all, I still haven't even added the wings to this airplane. It's looking very bare bones right now. Maybe there's a quicker way I can build this. Wait, I have a good idea. If I use World Edit Command, it will allow me to paste in sections of this airplane faster. If I go right here and type slash slash copy, and then go over here and type slash slash paste, it will allow me to paste in this massive airplane. There we go. Look at this, guys. I have a massive tube right here, and that is what's going to have everything inside of my airplane, including seats, maybe a restaurant, and a ton of cool things. But now it's time for me to add the windows. I think I'll go with a nice little color palette of white and red. That will make my airplane look really cool. You know what? I'm just going to put windows across this entire airplane, just like a real one. This might take a while, though. Look how much space I have to fill. So let's get building as fast as possible. How are you getting along right now, Pip? Louie, I'm using slash slash paste to make my plane huge. Good idea. It seems like you're doing the same thing as I am. You're slowly becoming more pro at Minecraft, buddy. Yeah, Louie, you should know this. I've been a pro this entire time. Oh, no, you haven't, Pip. When we first started playing Minecraft, you were such a noob. You're starting to become a pro. And it's crazy how much you've improved. The only thing I would say you need to do now to become less of a noob is start using blocks other than dirt. Dirt is such an underrated block. It wins every time. How does it win every time, buddy? I do not know how you could possibly say dirt is better than wood or concrete. Because, 
Louie. Dirt doesn't fall in gravity. And you can't set dirt on fire. I guess that makes sense. Your base isn't very flammable. But one thing that is a problem is when you get into the air, what if the wind just blows the dirt away and it falls apart while you're flying? That won't happen, Louie. I connected all of my dirt together with glue. All right, buddy. Well, I guess glue is your best bet right now to make sure your plane doesn't explode. I need to keep building the outside. I only have the main area the passengers will sit in. I need an area for the cockpit where the pilots will sit. I'm going to slowly start making this area of the plane come down and kind of get thinner because it needs to be pointed like a nose at the end. Let's put the nose of the plane somewhere over. I'm not sure. Let me just keep building out like this and eventually they should connect in the middle just like that. That's where the nose of my plane is going to end up. But I think I need to make it more rounded. So I'll do something like that. Now let's go ahead and connect all of these blocks up at the top here down to the nose of the plane so that it looks like a real jet plane. Let's just keep building and we are getting very close. And finally, we are now at the nose of my plane. This looks pretty good. Usually in the pilot's room, the windows are around about here. So I'll go ahead and make an area for the windows to sit. Let's just do it right about here. This looks pretty good, but the windows on a plane are quite small, so I'm going to go ahead and also connect it up to the top like this. Perfect. Now all I need to do is fill in all of this area with some white glass like this. Now it's going to make my plane really look like an actual plane because it has these really cool windows on it. What do you guys think so far? I think this plane is coming along very well. What I've got to do now is just connect this nose of this plane up to the front and make it look very realistic on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just make the shape like this and boom. This seems pretty good. All I have to do now is connect the bottom of this plane up too. So let's go ahead and make it come up the same way as the top did. This might be a little bit harder though because it needs to curve in a little bit later. Which means that I need to make the bottom longer and then get shorter a lot faster. So let's go ahead and try to build that. Oh, Pip, how are you getting along with the bottom of your plane? Mine's coming along very well. I'm working on the front of my plane right now. Good job, buddy. Let me take a look. Oh, no, Pip, this is not aerodynamic. There is no way this plane will fly. Aerodynamite? What does that mean? Well, it basically means this, Pip. If you swing your hand in front of your face very fast, you'll feel that the air tries to slow you down. That is basically what the air is going to do to this plane. Because it's basically just a flying wall. Oh, it won't slow me down, Louie. I'm a tough dog. Well, I guess you are a tough dog. If you're not careful, that plane is going to explode in the air. And I don't think you'll be able to survive that, buddy. Neither will Mikey's family. My plane won't be the plane explode in the air. Yours will. We'll see about that, buddy. JJ is going to absolutely love my plane, whilst Mikey is going to be so scared of going into your plane, and he'll probably poop his pants. No, he won't. If he does, I'll have a bathroom. All right, Pip. Well, you go ahead and make that bathroom of yours while I go ahead and actually build a working plane. This is going to be the best plane in Minecraft. The best part is it's actually going to fly. My plane will fly, Louie. Just wait. I just need to give it wings and horns. Wait, horns? Why are you giving your plane horns, buddy? Because, Louie, horns are aerodynamite. Oh, my gosh. Stop talking about your aerodynamite whatever, Pip. It's not going to work compared to my plane. But wait a second, guys. I realize now I've got the front of my plane, but I haven't even got the back of it. So I need to start building that right now. This should be very easy. It just curves up very, very quickly and turns into a wing on the back. So I've just got to get all of these parts of this plane and have them all connect up in the middle. This might be kind of difficult, but I'm confident that I can make it better than Pip can. My plane will be able to fly away.
way. So let me just get all of the parts of this plane and have them curve up into the middle like this. This should be a pretty good back of the plane. Now I need to connect up the top too. So I'll have it do this kind of shape and come down very, very slowly. And eventually it will connect up to the back like all the rest of the plane. Just like that. I think this is coming along very well. But now what I need to do is start planning out the shape of the wing on the back. Instead of building that out of red, I'll build it out of white. This white concrete should do. Let's go ahead and add a big wing to the back of this plane. So what I have to do is just add a little wing coming all the way up and back. Let's just build it on. And I think that high of a wing should do. Let's go ahead and add the rest of it. So what I have to do is just go ahead and make the top of this wing flat and then connect it up to this area over here, which is going to be a lot more difficult because the angles are very different. This wing might end up looking kind of funny if I build it wrong. So let's connect it up like that. I think that looks pretty good. Let's just fill it all in with white concrete now, and then I'll be ready to start adding the actual back of the plane. Do you guys like planes? And if you do, have you ever flown in one? Comment down below. And if you've been on more than one holiday in an airplane, then make sure to like the video. But enough about that. I've almost built up this entire wing. Whilst I'm looking at Pip's side, and he's just putting devil horns on his plane. What is he doing? Look at this guy. Now my plane looks like a monster truck. And these horns give it some more of that aerodynamic stuff Louie was talking about. You've put horns on your plane? Why have you done that? Horns give it more power. Well, I guess it does. Your plane is looking like a demon. It looks like it wouldn't even fly. Yes, it will, Louie. Let me just add the wings. Yeah, maybe you should give it, like, bat wings while you're at it to make it look more devil-like. Chloe, I'm not building one of those demons. I'm building a speed demon. It's a different thing. Wait, what do you mean, speed demon? What is that, Pip? It's just the fastest thing in the universe. Wait, you're making your plane faster than mine? <laughs> no way. Yeah, Louie, I'm working on the wings right now. Right, Pip. Well, you keep working on the wings of your plane, but I guarantee it will not be as good as mine. My plane is coming along really well right now. I'm super proud of it. Well, you're going to have to work on the wings eventually. All planes have wings. Yeah, I know that, Pip. But I don't want to work on the wings just yet. After all, I need to make sure that the outside is strong enough to fight the forces of the wind against the plane before I go making it really fast. I guess that makes sense. Good luck building the back of your plane, Louie. You're going to need it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, buddy. Just take a look at what I've built so far. I've put on a big wing at the back of my plane. And I'm now starting on the little wing that keep it in the air. This is looking kind of cool, but not as cool as my plane. Oh, yeah? Well, what is your plane going to do, buddy? I'm pretty sure it won't survive a second in the sky. It just sounds like you're jealous again, Louie. I am not jealous. After all, my plane is starting to actually look like a real-life plane. Right now, it's looking like a spaceship. I think all I've got to do is just add these wings in to make it look really good. So I'll start on them right now. I'll go ahead and make them start about that big. And I'm also going to make these plane wings very thick because they need to be strong enough to fight against the forces of the wind against them. Didn't you know that, Pip? Wait, we're fighting against the wind? I thought we were fighting monsters. Well, Pip, yes, we are fighting monsters. But at the same time, we need to make sure our planes don't fall apart in the air. So our main enemy is actually the wind. Well, I never knew the wind was a bad guy. No, Pip, the wind isn't a bad guy. I would say it's a bad girl because it's Mother Nature after all. Mother Nature. I like my mother way more. I know you do, Pip. We all love our mothers. And I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching this video loves their mom too, right? Well, Louie, I love my mom very much. Besides the fact that I've never actually met her. What? No way, Pip. I just realized that is true, guys. Pip has never actually met his mom because she died in a volcano accident. It was tragic. Yeah, Louie, and my dad died too. Whoa! You got like a villain origin story, Pip. Oh, I'm not a villain, Louie. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet, buddy? Yeah, Louie, that's exactly what I said. Not yet. Oh, 
right, Pip. You're starting to creep me out a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I need to build this plane wing. Look, it's not long enough to survive the wind yet. I need to make it look like a real plane wing. And they get a little bit thinner towards the end. So I'll just build a little bit of a thinner area coming towards the end. Just like this. And then very, very slowly, it's going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. What do you think of this plane wing, Pip? Doesn't it look kind of cool? I mean, it looks kind of good, Louie, but it doesn't look as good as my unicorn wing. What? Unicorn wings? So you put devil horns and unicorn wings on your plane? I don't know if you're even trying to build an airplane right now. Louie, stop distracting me. I'm trying to work on the back of my plane. Want to see how it's coming along? Well, I would, buddy. But right now, I'm working on the curve of the wing. After all, real airplane wings curve upwards like that. Oh, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't see the back of my plane. You'd probably just copy me. No, I wouldn't, Pip. What is this supposed to be? The back of my plane, Louie. Did you not hear me just say that? Pip, this looks really bad. The front of your plane has like a tiny window for the pilot to look out of. mine has a huge window. At the same time, your windows are very far spaced apart. Which means your passengers won't have as many seats. Passengers don't care about that, Louie. They just want to get from point A to point B. I guess so. But at the end of the day, Pip, the monsters will be attacking soon. We need to make sure that our planes are more comfortable than fast. Because Mikey and JJ want to be safe in our plane, not go on a vacation. My plane is amazing. We might not have enough seats for JJ's family. So if JJ's family wants to come on my plane, they can probably just sit on the horn. What, Pip? Your plane is huge. There's no way that wouldn't have enough space for JJ's family. Yeah, Louie, I can probably only fit like five seats in there. How? Pip, there's like more than five blocks worth of space in this plane. You could fit like a hundred seats in this thing if you wanted to. No, Louie, let me show you. I'm going to get five seats. One, two, three, four, five. That's like a hundred seats. Look. There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, there was six, seven, eight seats right no, there. there you know what, Pip? You could just do this. Put a seat here, here, here. Yeah, there's like ten. No, Louie, I only have enough space for five seats. All right, fine. Well, I don't need JJ to go in your plane anyway. My plane is going to be so much better. I need to go work on it right now. Yeah, and I bet you're making room for Mikey because you're probably so confident you think Mikey's going to like your plane more. Yes, he will, Pip. Mikey is going to love my plane way more than yours. In your dreams, Louie. You know what, guys? I'm going to prove Pip wrong. Right now, I'm adding the turbines to my plane. I'm going to make them round like real plane turbines. I'm going to add an engine inside of each one. Then your plane will have no chance against mine, Pip. Yes, it will. I just need to find out how to get Mikey's family inside of my plane. Yeah, you definitely do. Because Mikey's family does not want to be in your plane. They want to be in mine. I'll just make a staircase. All right, well, you do that, Pip. I'm just going to keep building these turbines. If you guys didn't know, real life turbines get bigger towards the end, just like this. So I'm going to build it as realistically as possible. I'm going to add a really, really cool looking stripe on these turbines just to make them look epic compared to my real plane. Look at this! On the outside, it kind of looks like the wing is holding the turbine on. But now I have to build it just opening up like this and then actually add the turbine on the inside. So what I'm going to do is add some blocks like that. And then I'm going to add some iron bars to make it look like a real turbine. Let's go ahead and add those right now. All I have to do is just build them like this. So it looks like they're spinning around. Here we go. This is looking pretty good. Let me just build one out here. And then boom! It looks like a little turbine in there. I'm going to make it look like it's spinning really fast. So I'm going to add a bunch of these white stained glass panels in to make it look like there's a little bit of motion blur and they're moving very fast. But now all I have to do is add the backs of the turbine. This is really easy to build. All I have to do is just make them taper off towards the end, which basically just means make them get smaller and smaller until we're at the end here. Now, if I look at this from a distance, these look like a real plane turbine. This is so cool. Louis, how is JJ's family supposed to get inside of your airplane? Oh, I have a staircase attached to the ground for Mikey's family. You make
make a good point. I don't have any way to get into my airplane right now. Maybe I need to attach it to the floor like you did. After all, mine doesn't have anything keeping it on the ground. I'm going to build a landing pad right now. Uh, go ahead and copy my idea again, Louis. Ah, uh, Pip, I'm not going to copy your staircase. I'm going to add some realistic details to this place. Just like this. As you guys can see, I just went ahead and put a wheel coming off the front of my airplane. But airplane wheels are a lot bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot bigger like that. And you know what? I'll make it look like it's connected to the front. Oh my goodness. This is looking awesome. But if the plane only has a wheel on the front, that means the back will scrape across the runway. So I have to add two wheels to the back. This should be very simple though. I just need to copy what I did on the front and make a big black wheel just like this that's connected to the back. Now my plane has three wheels and it can actually land on the runway. This is so cool. But now what else can I build? Wait, I just had a really good idea. If my plane is going to be seen all over the sky, I need to make sure it has my logo on it. And that is a big L for Louis Airlines. That looks pretty cool. You know what? I'm going to make it bigger just like like this so that it can be seen from anywhere. I'm also going to go ahead and add a little black outline just behind my logo like this. So it looks a lot more official. This is looking pretty cool. Let me go ahead though and just add some black going around the whole thing like this. So it's like a big square. That looks a lot better. My plane is starting to really look good. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add a cool white stripe to this entire thing. Just to make it look a little bit cooler compared to Pips. I'm also going to make this white stripe go ahead and attach up to the wing. So it looks like this plane is built really, really well. Here we go. Just a few more blocks and this white stripe will be attached to the back. And I will be able to start on everything else on this plane. I've gone ahead and added it on right now. This looks so epic. Louie, look at my plane. You're not the only plane with your love. Go on it. Wait, oh my god. Pip, why does your plane have the letters PP on it? That's really funny. Because, Louie, it's the Pip plane. Wait, what? PP stands for Pip plane? I would never have guessed that. Come on, Louie. Do you want to get on the Pip plane? No, Pip. I'm not getting on the PP plane. That's terrible. All right, Louie. More Pip plane for me. All right, little buddy, you keep working on that. You know what? How about you show me around everything you've built? Just so that I can get an idea of what you're going to put inside of your plane. Oh, yeah, Louie. Right here are the horns, like I showed you earlier. And over here are the unicorn wings. Wait, if these are the wings, where are the engines, Pip? How is this thing going to fly? I'm working on it right now, Louie. You can see. It's under construction. Wait, you're putting your jet engines in front of your wings? Won't that just melt the wings off? No, Louie. It's like a bunch of fans pushing against the wing, so it makes it faster. I guess so, buddy. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, Louie. Over here is my entrance, and I put some holes in it so those monsters can fall through. Good idea, Pip, because after all, we are going to be adding traps to our airplanes, too. To stop those monsters from getting inside. Yeah, we cannot have these monsters hijack the plane. Otherwise, something really bad could happen. We cannot have someone hijacking this plane, Pip, or else they might crash it into a building. That would be terrible. If these planes are crashing, I only want them to crash into the monsters so they die. Yeah, good idea, Pip. That gives me a few ideas. We could make this plane have a few explosive traps to stop those monsters from getting in. I love explosions, Louie. I want to see those monsters go kaboom. Yep, exactly, Pip. Look at this. The Louie plane is now finished. The construction went very smoothly. Now, we should be able to fly away with this thing, but I need to start adding some things on the inside, like passenger areas, places for Mikey and JJ to stay. But Louie, you keep forgetting. How are you supposed to get them in your plane in the first place? Wait, I just had the best idea ever. Let me just go ahead and break some of the blocks on the bottom of my plane. I'm going to have it so that J 
JJ and Mikey can come in through the cargo area. This way, I'll have plenty of area to be able to protect them from the monsters. Because I can just have the cargo hold be open and have traps all the way through to the main area of the plane. Let me just go ahead and add some little bits over here. Just so that this cargo hold is a little bit more secure. As you can see, the back of the plane is now open. And it can close up when it starts flying. All I have to do is just start adding things on the inside. Like storage rooms and passenger areas. Let's get started building the passenger area. We need to make sure that we at least have somewhere to seat JJ and Mikey's family. So I'll get all of these blocks and place them as fast as possible. All of the storage areas are going to be down here. But once you get up to the top, you'll be able to sit on the airplane. And I need to make sure that the floor is lined up with the windows too. Because if you were sat on an airplane and you didn't have a seat that's near a window, why would you even sit on the plane in the first place? Only I'm going to make my plane cheap by putting the seats in the basement. Wait, what? You're not even going to have windows on your seats? You're just going to put them underground? Of course, Louie. Why would I need seats in an airplane with windows? I guess you do make a good point there, Pip. You could always just have some cheaper seats that are in the basement that people could pay for if they want to go on a cheap vacation. If you want to go first class and have very nice seats, then I would recommend putting them next to the windows, Pip. Who would use first class? I would use first class, Pip, because I'm a very, very rich individual. Oh, yeah. Rich with dumb. What do you mean, rich with dumb? I'm not dumb, Pip, and you know that, buddy. It looks like you're the noob in this challenge. How, Pip? You've literally built your entire plane out of dirt, cobblestone, and put the letters PP on your plane. Whilst mine is looking like an actual realistic airplane. Here you go again, Louie, underestimating dirt when it wins every time. It won't, Pip. Just you wait and see. I'm sorry to say this, but your plane isn't going to hold up. Yes, it will. You're just a hater. Oh, I'm no hater, Pip. I don't have time to keep talking about this with you. I need to go ahead and add the storage area for my aircraft. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is go on the inside of my plane. I'm going to build a wall just so that there is a little bit of extra security inside of my plane. And I'm going to make this wall double layers thick so that it's very strong against those zombies. It's time for me to add a secure door. This will be able to stop anyone from getting in through the back of my plane and hijacking it. So I'm going to put a keypad door. This will only allow me to be able to get into my plane in case of an emergency. So I'll put the code as one, two, three, four. Now we're in the plane. I can start working on everything. So right here, what I'm going to do is put the storage area. This is where everybody will be able to store their suitcases and luggage. I'm going to go ahead and grab a ton of barrels, a ton of password protected barrels, chests, and some and the chests too. I'm also going to get some of these really cool looking bags. Just like this. I'm going to place a ton of barrels everywhere. This will allow people to store their goods and all their favorite things inside of the plane right here. This is going to be the very cheap storage. Though it's not very secure. But for JJ and Mikey, I'm going to put these password protected barrels. And these are very, very secure. Says you need a password to be able to get inside of them and store your loot. I've got a few more password protected barrels in here. Now, I'm just going to put some good old chests because they are the main way of storing your items in Minecraft. So I'll put a absolute boatload of them here. Or should I say a play load? All right, but finally, I need an area where all of the luggage will be stored. So I'm going to go ahead and get these iron bars and I'm going to put these bags right here. It's almost like this thing is holding them up. Now, I have a very large storage area and I could probably put some some weapons and armor down here later on in the video. Your plane is just terrible. How is there nothing in here? Pip, there is something in here. Just follow me. This is the storage area. What do you think? Is this all you built on your plane, Louis? Yes, it is so far. Have you got any ideas on what we could build, buddy? Oh my gosh, Louis, I have so many ideas. I had a bathroom, armory, bedroom, living room. I mean, I guess we could add a living room down here. But I 
kind of want to add that up there in the main area of the plane. Look how much bigger and spacious it is. We should probably put the seats down here so the passengers can sit down here. No! You know what? I think your first idea was a lot better. We should put some bathrooms down here just in case some passengers need to pee or poo. We could also add a hot tub, Louie. Wait, that's actually a really good idea. Let's add a huge hot tub in the middle and then put some toilets around it to work as a bathroom. Yeah, Louie, let me just put a hot tub water all around. Pip, stop. You're putting lava everywhere. Isn't that what's in a hot tub? No, no, no. That is not what's in a hot tub. Hot tubs are basically just a tub of water that is hot. Let me go ahead and help you out a little bit. Let's just put one of these radiators inside the water and turn it up to high heat. Now, it's going to heat up the water and it'll be very nice. But we can make this way more toasty. So I put a toaster in here. Wait, what? No, 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 Pip. You should know way better than to put a toaster in water. That's very, very dangerous. Do not do that. Oh, you're right, Louie. We might get soggy toast. Not soggy toast. If you put a toaster in water, then it electrocutes the water and you could die. Right, Louie, but I guess we can take the toaster out. There we go, Pip. The toaster is no longer in there. Let's go ahead and add some toilets in here just in case anybody needs to take a poop. So I'll put one right here, one right here, and I'll put two more on the other side. And we could even put one right next to each other so we can hold each other's hands while using the bathroom. Pip, I do not want to hold your hands while pooping and peeing. I guess it's the thought that counts, huh? Yeah, Louie. I like to hold hands when I'm using the bathroom. Well, I guess that is pretty cool, Pip, but we're missing something in here. And I know exactly what. We are missing a really big mirror that we can look at our beautiful reflection. This will also allow all the female passengers to do their makeup, too. Yeah, Louie. I love to do my makeup. Pip, I thought you were a boy. Why are you doing your makeup? Yeah, Louie. I love to use makeup. How do you think my eyes are so beautiful? Maybe you just use makeup because you're ugly. <laughs> no, I'm not, Louie. You're ugly. Oh, really? Well, everybody, if you think I'm ugly, comment down below. Who looks the cutest out of both of us? Me or Pip? Don't say Pip. But anyways, Pip, we've gone ahead and we've built this massive hot tub and this really cool bathroom. We need to build something else over here. There's a whole lot we can put over here, Louie. Why don't we put the kitchen down here so we can deliver food to the first class residents? That's actually a genius idea. Let's go ahead and do that. So, we need some kitchen counters. I'll get some of these white kitchen counters. I think they look pretty good. And it also matches the aesthetic of my plane. Yeah, Louie. We're only going to serve the best food ever. Like caviar. Caviar? Ew! Don't you know caviar is just really nasty tasting fish eggs? Oh, yeah, Louie. Fish eggs are yummy. No, they are not fish. Fish eggs are disgusting. Disgusting. The only good tasting food, in my opinion, is steak. This looks really yummy. Steak is disgusting. What? No, it's not. Don't lie, Pip. Your food is terrible. I wouldn't even want to eat caviar here. I'd rather eat seeds. I know you would, Pip. You know what? We can't eat anything if we don't even have an oven. So let's go ahead and make a kitchen now. All we need is some ovens like this one right here. Let's get some of these fabric slabs, too, to make this kitchen look cooler. Then we will also go ahead and grab one of these sinks, because then we can wash our hands in the kitchen. Let's add a few of these as well, because we might have more than one cook. Oh, yeah, Louie. Let me go ahead and add the oven. If that's not an oven, that's a trash can. Oh, never mind. Put that in the corner. You know what, Pip? Let's put all of the trash cans over here. This is just so that we have a lot of trash storage on the plane that we can get rid of once the plane lands. Yeah, Louie. Those passengers are going to have to put their trash somewhere. Yep, and that's exactly where it's going to go. Now, let's go ahead and add some of these really cool archways to the kitchen. This will give it some character and make it look a lot cleaner. Why are you making this out of red? It would look way better with yellow. No, it wouldn't. Red is the best color in the world. No, Louie, red is the color of blood. Well, your favorite color, yellow, is the color of pink. How do you think of that, buddy? Yeah, and he is amazing. I am banning you from my aircraft. Get out of here. Louie, I helped you so much. How are you going to ban me? 
Because you said my favorite color is the worst. And I do not agree. Only people who like the color red could be on this airplane. You're not kicking me off this airplane, Louie. I'm staying here forever. You know what? You can stay in the bathroom whilst I go ahead and build all by myself. Yeah, Louie. Go ahead and build. I can't imagine building. Wait, I forgot. I'm building an airplane right now. Pip, how did you forget you were building an airplane? You know what? Just go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh, I need to make sure my plane's better than yours. No, it's not gonna be. Because I'm now just adding a menu to my restaurant. Oh, my kitchen down here. And all it's going to serve is steak, clams, a few crab, and hot chocolate. Because I absolutely love hot chocolate, guys. Do you think hot chocolate is the best? It's my favorite drink in the world. But anyways, guys, I cannot afford to get distracted. I need to go ahead and put some ladders going up to the top floors of this plane. Look at this. Now, we are where the pilot will sit. Let's not build this right now. Let's go ahead and build the passenger area. I'm going to build it like a real airplane. So, let me get some beds and some red seats. What I'm going to do is add a few rows like this. I'll put some red seats in. You need to make sure that there's at least two seats in every single window. This will make it look like a real airplane. Because Airplanes in real life have two seats next to the window. Then they have middle seats over here. I'm going to put five seats in the middle of each row. This ensures I have a lot of space for passengers. Why are you even making a middle seat, Louie? No one likes the middle seat. Yeah, you are kind of right with that, Pip. Nobody likes to sit in the middle of an airplane. But some people just have to deal with it because the seats are cheaper. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add backs to these seats, just like this. I'm going to use these fabric slabs because they look very much like wool. And they look like they would be a lot more comfortable. They also look like plain seats. So I'm going to build them up very quickly. And just to build them a lot faster, I'm going to copy them with World Edit and I'm going to move them back. This is how a pro would build an airplane in Minecraft. Look, I'm going to walk back, then pace, walk back, then pace. This is the fastest way to build an airplane ever. There we go, guys. I've gone ahead and built all of the airplane seats. Now what I need to do is I need to put TV screens on the back so that my passengers can watch TV. That's what a real airplane has on it. I'll put two on each row like this, just in front of the seat, so I can be sat, watch TV, and look out the window if I want to. I also made sure that I have a ton of leg space because my passengers need to make sure they're comfortable. And if they need to take a pee, they should be able to walk through everybody's legs like this. Now I've done that, Let's add all these TV screens to this plane. This is looking awesome. What do you guys think? If you could watch any TV show on this plane, what would it be? Really? Do the airplanes have farming channels? I don't know, Pip. I've never been on an airplane and wanted to watch the farming channel before. Maybe you should tell me. Oh, yeah, Louie. I'd love to watch the farming channel on an airplane. Imagine you're a thousand miles in the sky. You can watch a TV show about being on the ground. What is the point of going on a plane then, Pip? If you want to just watch a show about being on the ground. Because, Louie, I want to farm in the sky. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what, Pip? I guess you could do that. But while you're focusing on farming in the sky, I'm focusing on the luggage areas. I'm putting a ton of these fabric slabs above the seat. This is where the passengers will be able to jump up, put their luggage, and then sit down and watch the skies. That is pretty cool. I didn't really think about that. I know you didn't, Pip, because I always think of crazy ideas when I'm building. You just think about building with dirt. That kind of bad stuff. You'll see one day, Louie. You'll see. Whatever. I've built all of my airplane seats and put a ton of screens down. Now it's time to add the first class passengers. This is where everything gets really VIP. This is exactly where JJ and Mikey are going to be staying. So I need to make sure this looks as good as possible. I'm going to build a big wall just like this. So that nobody in the back seats down here will be able to see how good the first class passengers 
passengers are treated. Now it's time to add the first class seats. This is going to be really crazy, guys. First class seats look just like this. They have a bed and then they have these slabs going around the entire bed. So they have loads of space to sleep. They have a wall in front just like this with some extra storage that they can put their items in. That usually goes right here up the wall. Then they have this archway going over the top of the seat. And they have their own private bathroom. So what I'm going to do is put a wall in like this for privacy. And then I'm going to put a toilet inside of here. This is the craziest first class seat ever. But since Mikey and JJ's families are going to be staying here, I'm going to need a first class room for each of them. So I'm going to put some rooms for JJ's family just like this. This And then in this first class room, I'm going to put a huge bathroom with a shower in it. Wait, wait, wait. Do showers even exist on planes? Oh, of course they do, Pip. If you've ever been to first class before, you would know that they have really cool showers. I need to go ahead and add some drains just so this plane doesn't get flooded. That seems so cool. I want to be in first class. Well, Pip, you could be in first class if you want to, but it will cost you five. $500. I don't really have 500 schmeckles. Well, it's fine, buddy. You'll just have to deal with our first class. That's very sad, though. You'll be okay, Louis. You should see the seats on my plane. They're amazing. Oh, really, buddy? Well, I'll come and take a look at them in just a moment. I'm adding some extra storage to the first class seats and just adding the toilet to the last one. When you get onto the plane, you'll be able to have a taste of the life of luxury. And then then you'll be able to come sit and watch TV. But now I cannot be forgetting. I need to add the area where the pilot will sit. After all, with no control, nobody will fly this plane. Let me go ahead and make the room for the pilot. To do that, I'll put some ladders going up here. And I will make a secure doorway. Which only means that the pilot can get inside. I'm going to take some inspiration from the back room over here. And I'm going to add a keypad door that only the pilot will be able to get into. I'll put it right here inside this little groove in the wall. And the password will be 1234. Now, look at this, guys. It's the best view on the plane. You can see out of the front. So what I'm going to do now is add the pilot's control. So I'm going to add a bed so the pilots can sleep when they put autopilot on. Now, all I have to do is add the seats. This is where they will sit while controlling the plane. So I'll put them right here. And now what I need is the control. I'll put these wooden controls control panels right at the front. And now it's time to add the real plane control. Did you know that on a real airplane, they have two steering wheels? One for one pilot and one for the other. There are always two pilots controlling one airplane. So I'll put a fence gate here and a fence gate here. These look just like the real controls of an airplane. But now what I need is a valve like this. Just in case the controls break, we need a steering wheel. So let's put it right in the middle there. And then and finally, I need some GPS devices. So I'll put a screen right here and a screen right here. So I can see where I'm going at all times, even when I'm in the cloud. And then finally, I need to go ahead and put a console in the middle so that I'll be able to contact air traffic control. Those are the people in the big towers that control the airplanes. And there we go, guys. This area for the pilots is now complete. This looks awesome. Let's go back into my plane. I still have a few more things I need to build. And that is my trap! Because at the end of the day, some scary mobs are going to attack. We need to be able to fight them off. So I'm going to add some traps all the way around the outside of my airplane. Oh, Louie, I heard you're building traps. Can I help? Of course you can, buddy. I could never say no to you and those little eyes. Yeah, Louie, my really cute eyes. Alright, enough about that, Pip. Come on, look, we have this huge airplane and we need to secure it from those evil monsters. What should we we do? I don't know what we should do. We should put lasers. Lasers are very secure. That's a good idea. Let's get some redstone blocks and some lasers. Let's get some of these mode upgrades to make the lasers look stronger. Now I'll put redstone blocks going up the back of this door. Put lasers on them like this. And I'll turn them to be really powerful lasers like this. Wow, Louis, these look super cool. They look like something out of Star Wars. 
Yeah, there is no way any mobs are getting in here. But wait, that gives me a question. How are we going to get in here? Maybe we can just jump over the laser. No, that wouldn't be good for Mikey and JJ. I don't know if their family will be able to do that. Maybe we should make it so we can turn these lasers on and off. I'll just turn them off for now. But what we will do is get this thing called a redstone link. This will allow us to turn the lasers on and off. How does that even work? Well, just wait and see, Pip. Look, I'm setting up all of these redstone links right now. These are basically like wireless redstone. Just watch this. Come up here into the plane, and I want you to press this lever right here, Pip, and watch what happens. Oh, surely this doesn't work. Whoa! Boom! We now have a security laser system that allows us to stop the mobs from getting in. That's so cool, Louie. Can I spam the lever? I guess you can, but be very careful. It might be Break it. it would be really funny if it broke it. And then you'd have to go to my plane to survive from the monsters. What? That wouldn't be funny <laughs> at all. How about we do a bunch of TNT traps outside? That would be a really good idea, Pip. Those mobs are going to be fiery mobs. So we can't really do a lava mode. We have to make a dispenser trap work. I can't wait to blow them up. I'm going to add a few dispensers like that. And then some fans in order to push the TNT away when it falls down. Boom. That looks pretty good. Louie, aren't we going to destroy this beautiful grass if we blow it up? You make a good point there, Pip. Wait, I have a good idea. We could destroy the beautiful grass. Or we could turn all of this grass into obsidian. Let's turn it all into obsidian. And this way, it won't blow up to the TNT. Now, let's get some of these redstone links and set them up so that that these traps will work. I'll put TNT inside of them, just so that I know which ones work and which ones don't. And then finally, I'm going to add some red stained glass above it like this, so we can see outside while the trap is working. Then finally, let's go inside. Put down one of these redstone links with some TNT inside. And now all we need is a lever. And this trap is complete! Come on, Louie, flick the lever. I wanna see the TNT. All right, Pip. Three, two, one. On TNT! Fire! And wait! TNT! Whoa! All right, I'm sending more, buddy. Here you go. No, no, Louie, don't do that. Whoa! Ow! Louie, be careful. I'm on one heart. You don't want me to die, do you? Oh, no, I wouldn't want you to die, Pip. Or would I? <laughs> laser! No! Lewis, turn the lasers off! <laughs> really mean. Wait a second. If it's a bunch of fire and lava mobs attacking us, how about we do a giant water moat all around the place? That's a good idea. We can put them out. Let's go ahead and replace all of these blocks in front of my plane with a bunch of fake water. That will put them out. Just like this. Be very careful not to let Mikey or JJ fall in there. It might be very bad. What's wrong with Mikey and JJ going for a Swim. How about you go for a swim yourself, Pip, and find out? All right, Louie, let me just get a diving board, and let's go for a dive. Come on, get and go! Woohoo! Uh-oh, Pip, you're dying! Uh, Louie, that was fake water! I tried to warn you, buddy. I told you it was fake water. How does it look just like water? Well, Pip, that's the fun of it. This isn't just regular water. This is fake water. Look, it's modded. You have real water right here and then fake water right here. If you go inside this one, you'll be fine. But if you go inside the fake water, you will die because it's poison. What if I break this metal block? What would happen? Well, Pip, they do not mix together, so... It'll just do that. Oh, this is really interesting. Maybe we could use this as a way to enter our fake lava mode. Wait a second, that's genius! Since they don't mix together, we could put a secret way in with some water like this! So we can just go straight through! All we've got to do is just follow the water that is not mixing with the fake water! Yeah, and those monsters are really dumb, so I don't think they'll be able to tell the difference! Yep, I think this plane is super secured, Pip! This is awesome! But we need one final thing, and that is an armory! Because if you take a look, Pip, the sun is starting to go down. We need armor as fast as possible. Oh my gosh, Louie, where should we build the armory in here? 
Don't worry, Pip. I already know where. Just follow me inside of the plane, and I'll show you. All right, Louie, I'm following. Just come through the kitchen, up these ladders, and let's go through all of this plane. Where are we going, Louie? Well, this is the back of the plane. This is where our armory room is going to be. What kind of armor should we put in here? Well, I already have a very good idea. I'll just get some armor stands first. I'm going to put one here, and I'll put one on the other side for you. All right, Louie. I'm going to put the best armor ever. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to put way better armor. I'm going to put dragon steel armor, which is the strongest armor in the entire of Minecraft. Just take a look at all the defense it gives you. It gives you 12 armor. And increased protection from dragon breath. That's insane. All I need to do right now is get some chests, and this is where I'll put my armor and weapons. Oh, Louie, you should take a look at my armor. It's way better than whatever this is. Oh, really? Well, my armor looks really crazy and manly. And it even has a six-pack. Whilst yours is the pip, you just put a girl armor here. This is literally girl clothes. Yeah, Louie, because I like girls, so I like to wear girl clothes. Pip, you cannot tell me that you're wearing a skirt into a battle. Well, yeah, Louie, just look how it looks on me. You know what? I'm kind of interested to see how it looks on me. Uh, can you throw it over? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, my gosh. I look so good girly pop right now. Louie's in the kitchen. Pip, you gave it to me. You know what? I took it off now. We don't only need armor. We need weapons too, Pip. So fill up all those chests with weapons. All right, Louie. I'm going to get a whole bunch. All right. First of all, I'm going to start off with a bunch of infinity swords. If you guys didn't know, they can kill someone in creative mode. Especially Pip. But I'm not going to kill him right now. I'm going to get something called a dragon bone bow. These things are really strong and can kill the majority majority of mobs in one shot, which means they are very good for battling. Next, I'm going to give myself a ton of golden apples. This is just so I don't lose any health. After all, they keep you alive from anything. And then finally, just to keep myself alive just a tiny bit longer, I'm going to put a ton of totems of undying in here. These things basically stop you from dying by giving you a second life. There we go. I think my armory is complete. I have a ton of OP weapons and armor to fight those monsters. All right, Louie, I'm ready with my OP weapons and my OP food. Oh, Pip, you have poo cocoa beans, wooden swords. Let's just hope your armor is good enough to stop those monsters. Of course it is, Louie. It's made out of diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a second, Pip, how long have we been building for? I think only a couple of minutes, right? Pip, I don't know about you. But it seems like it's nighttime now. Oh, my gosh, Louie, just it means we need to move JJ and Mikey indoors right now. Come on. Oh, JJ and Mikey, we need to get to our plane stand. All right, Pip. I got JJ's entire family in the airplane ready to fly away. Yeah, and Mikey's family is safe in my plane. All right, cool. I'm going to start getting all of my armor on right now. I need to be ready for the fight of my life. Oh, yeah, let me get my materials. While you're doing that, I'll get my dragon bone bows out. I'll get some totems of undying ready to go. And I'll get some enchanted golden apples. I know that these mobs are going to be way stronger than zombies. All right, Louie, I'm ready to protect JJ's family with you. Wait a second. Did you just say protect JJ's family? But isn't Mikey's family in your plane? Yeah, they're safe and sound in my plane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Pip, look outside. Oh, what's going on? We have to get out there. Mikey's out there. We need to save him. Yeah, Louie, we need to run as fast as we can to save Mikey and JJ's family. Go, 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 go. All right, let me try some of my TNT traps. I'll just try and get them to come through the lava first. Come on, you stinky mobs. Get over here. Ow! Oh, no, Pip, do not do that. They burn very bad. No, they don't, Louie. I'm sure they're fine. Let me just shoot them. And whoa! Careful, buddy. This is really bad. Oh, my gosh. How can we kill all of those blazes? I don't know. Try using your bow, Pip. I'm trying, Louie. I'm shooting them as fast as I can, but their fireballs hurt so much. Pip, take one of these enchanted golden apples. You'll get fire resistance, so you won't be able to burn anymore. Now we can fight them. Now we're super OP. Come on. 
die, Blazes, die! Let's get those Blazes, buddy! Look, we're killing tons of them! Good job! We're doing this for Mikey and JJ's family! But still, Pip, I can't believe you just let Mikey stay in there all by himself! I thought he would be safe since my plane is super secure! Oh no, Pip, he will not be safe! As long as Mikey's in that plane, we are going to have to save him! Come on. I don't know, Pip, but all I know is that I'm going to activate the TNT trap. No! Yes, come on. Woo! We're killing them, Louie. And it looks like they're dying in the fake water. That's good. They are fire moms after all. I think it's time for us to go over there and save Mikey. Let's run for it. Just eat an enchanted golden apple and swim through the water. You'll be okay. Yeah, run for our lives. Go, go, go. Keep eating golden apples. Oh, my gosh. They deal so much. I know. We have to be careful. Come on, buddy. Run. Run, 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 run. We made it past them. We just have to get inside your plane. Where's Mikey? In the bedroom. Oh, my gosh. They're following us in, Pip. This is really bad. Come over here, Louie, to the bedroom. All right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Where are you? All right. Come on. We have to tell Mikey we have to go. Come on, Mikey's sister. Mikey. Mikey's little brother. We need to get out of this plane before the monsters take it over. All right, Pip, look. We got Mikey, JJ, and his entire family into this plane. Now, we just gotta get out of here. There's too many mobs outside for us to handle. We have to fly away. Yeah, Louie, where is your cockpit at? Follow me, buddy. We are going to get out of here ASAP. Just sit in the pilot seat and let's get driving. Come on, put this into hyperspeed. I'm doing it right now, Pip. Let's go. Louie, are we there yet? We've been flying for ages. Well, Pip, I'm not sure. Seems like it's daytime out there. And wait, we're in creative mode. Let's go outside and take a look where we are. And <laughs> we are all the way up in the air. I totally escaped those monsters. Yes, is the best plane in the entire of Minecraft. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go!